I knew her as Shoko Nadami. Her last name is different. Sorry, his mouth moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't push any buttons. I have a really funny idea. Okay. Two seconds. Okay. Two seconds. Okay. It's so worth it. Okay. 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 Now I need you. I need you to make Oda speak again. My God, I hate you so much. <laughs> Are you ready? Make him speak. <laughs> speak you, Dante. <laughs> I want to hear Oda talk. Okay. Uh. Keep talking. Keep talking, Oda. Folks, what is up and welcome to another episode of I the Somnium Files with an actual lawyer. I'm your sleepy boy, Zach, joined by Wes. I'm excited. <laughs> and of course, our actual lawyer, Bridge. Yo. Uh, I feel like this you can catch it in many more streams on twitch.tv slash save data team. Please go follow us there. We really appreciate that. And... If you'd like to support us, head over to patreon.com slash save data team, where for just two bucks a month, you get access to the full VOD channel of every single stream we do in perpetuity. Five bucks a month gets you access to uh, voting on our variety stream each month, which includes this week's Smash or Bro tier list, where we're ranking whether we'd rather befriend or sleep with the entire Smash Brothers roster. Uh, but, in like a, but in like a platonic way. Well, the smashing is not platonic, but the bro is platonic, yes. What? Uh, <laughs> uh, and then uh, you can also uh, be an NPC in our D&D &D campaign, and at the $10 level and above, you get your name included in this Patreon song. Where the hell is it? Where's the button? Wait, where is the button? There's the button. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Burger Bun, Fluff Guff, Sunayama, Philo, Code, Abe, Hollucha, and Sofino. HSM, Earn Less, Crow Knight, Danny, and Lester, Kevin Nation, Shadow, Navi. Miss Meg, Wendy, Jacob, Beth, Tucko, Sensei, Arky, Forensic, Technic, Cole, JFJ, Mystic, Woody. Leprechaun, A Wall Narwhal, Go Go, Zeppeli, Shepherdstein, Boomer, Emily, Relive, Jolie, The Red Fighter, DJ, Moon, Philo, Sherlock, T Flower, Still Large, Ami, Foreshock, Dessert Boy Man, Elijah Sly, Rick, Rats, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Naruka, Yongi, Croissant, Fulfilla, Written Word, Shade the Punisher, Sevilla. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Alright, uh, well, hey, should we should we start playing this game? Uh, it's yeah, actual song game. we got some. We got some fun stuff that's gonna happen today. Now, last time we had fun stuff, <laughs> Renju died, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm not I, so sure about fun stuff. I'm stuff. I think we're the second one. Yeah. Yeah, you did save it on the second one last time. I remember that. Uh, look, I, look, if I can't save a game three different times, then what's the point of having save files? It's true. All right, so <laughs> this is just a picture of Mama just saying just hi. Like, I know, I'm just waving <laughs> at us. So we ditched Mizuki at Mama's. We went and saw a show. Some people shot at us. Or so, and some people shot at us. Right, right, oh, right. Date. And Wait, now... Did someone, have a gat did someone have a Gatling gun? In last week's stream? Didn't someone have like a necessary large gun that they tried to shoot us with when we were... Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were in the, the Yakuza one of the, office. One of, the, one of the Yakuza guys did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like oh, wow. he had like a shockingly large machine gun. I forgot yeah, it was, it about was, that. It was uh the bigger guy. Yeah. Big Tony. Yeah, big Tony. big Tony. Okay. Uh <laughs> I'll tell you, we, that's it. we just went to Lambda Skates. Yeah, also, I think uh, we're looking strong. for You look like you have a lot on your mind. I don't know. I don't remember why we're here. Also, Katya yeah, will chuck in the chat says I didn't. I, I had to refresh the page and didn't hear my name said in the Patreon song. Katya Woodchuck. There you go. I said it for you. Got him. There you go. Nice. <clears throat> oh, and uh, fabulous yeah. uh, Aaliyah says just, just got home from classes and here you boys are. This is my first time I've managed to catch you all live. Thank you so much. Hey. Oh, thank you. Again. Happy to yeah, have we're you. glad to have you here. <clears throat> Trust me, it's a lot worse live. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I edit out so much. Yeah. <laughs> Corpse at Bloom Park. That was Andrew's <laughs> ex-wife, wasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah the murder. It was. 
<laughs> yeah, remember so this? Oh that, yeah, that the, the one, the one where you pissed and shit your pants, Oda. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, you shitted Get it and farted. farted. Her old mom. And I just, I just left her. Yeah, you did do that. <laughs> but I didn't know. I knew her as Shoko Nadami. Her last name is different. Sorry, his mouth moving. <laughs> yeah. I know that was Mizuki's mother. I'm gonna wait. The way it feels, the way it feels wait, obligated wait. to go back to the rectangle phase, don't, like between every mouth movement. Don't push any buttons. I have a really funny idea. Okay. Two seconds. Okay. Two seconds. Okay. I swear this is gonna be worth it. Oh, I can't wait. It's so worth it. Okay. 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 Now I need you. I need you to make Oda speak again. My God, I hate you so much. Are you ready? Make him speak. <laughs> speak Fuck you, Dante. Oda. I want to hear Oda talk. Okay. Uh, keep talking. Keep talking, Oda. I need to tell her that I'm sorry. Oh, you almost finished it. If you're talking, no! <laughs> we're, just, we're just gonna leave that hot dog there for later. Yeah, yeah. He's he's gonna finish it. I'll give it to the secretary. Oh, All right, sure. guys. I would like to announce my she retirement looked... from Save Data uh, effective go. immediately. Yeah. Zach she's... does not get a two week. Zach does not get a two week she's notice. Got it, she's got it. Just sitting, just sitting on her desk. She's got a hot dog hate, at her desk. I hate this stream. Yeah. I hate this podcast. I hate Zach. I hate Zach Schneider. Oh come on. Off. Oh no! Uh -oh. That's gonna be, oh, that, shit, the, that's gonna be the title of Pridge's autobiography. <laughs> it fucks with me. What if we put the hot dog in the art? That one is called Lying, Wishing, Marking Demons. Hot dog. Oh, okay. It's, it's called Incomprehensible hot Abstract Painting. <laughs> it's called a hot dog. <laughs> Only oh. Zach had this hot dog ready, we were looking at that painting in uh, uh, Grossberg's office. Oh, that'd be really funny. No, no, Zach. No, it wouldn't have. <laughs> Bad news, Zach. Oh, that's Rune Doyer. What? Yeah, Rune Doyer. I'm just gonna put Who this over. That? Oh, you know Rune Doyer. Uh huh. They play RuneScape instead of. Oh Minecraft. yeah, make sure you look at the plant because Iba's gonna be. <gasps> no! Oh no! Whoa. How to get rich oh, with cryptocurrency? No! 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 We're we're gonna get we're gonna get scammed by Jake the Crypto King. Oh no, no Sam Bankman Freed is coming for us. Talk no. about talk about a joke that was topical when this was being written and they risked it all and they lost it all. I mean to be fair, people are still doing crypto. It's just Oh yeah. Large amounts of them have lost. Yes. As was the point <clears throat> the entire time. Yay, a stink bug. <laughs> <laughs> I have a tendency to get excited yeah. about bugs. Uh, Zach, I see some people saying the game audio is a little low. Oh, okay. Uh, also, oh, Katja, actually, that's on. Katja says there's a model from 999 from the scratch puzzle from 999 on the screen. Is that true? From which puzzle? It's, it just says the scratch puzzle. Scratch. So puzzle? I don't actually know what that means. Also, the the, means. the game volume is actually maxed out for me, so I cannot make it loud. I can yeah, I can boost them, and then that would. I mean, I can only put this so much no, higher on that's my good. own horse to hurt my ears. Yep, this is perfect. I just boosted. Oh, I don't remember that. <clears throat> huh. Hey. <laughs> Wait. Zach, where's the hot dog? Got it right here. Awfully aggressive. Aggressive. <laughs> Just shoving a hot dog on my desk. Oh yeah, I'm an alpha type baby. Here's the hot dog. I like that. Whoa! <laughs> She's into it. I'm at. Uh, we're. I'm a sigma. I'm a sigma male. Please. Ooh. Do do what a time to to raid. <laughs> oh, but there is one little thing you should know about me. Yes. Say that you I'm love hot dogs. Then. Maybe that's even better. Uh, I thought she was, I thought she was <laughs> saying that she's a Republican, and then that was gonna be a problem. What's a reptilian? 
A reptilian humanoid alien. Oh, hell yeah. They are said to be shapeshifters that take on human form. Uh, I, okay. Yeah, that is definitely going to be a problem. What? Then you're, Dante, then, you're, then you're a coward, on. Dante. Then you're a coward. Dante, that is totally my kink. How are you passing this up, my guy? I know. Too bad. You're a coward, Dante. You get asked out a lot, don't you? I don't know why you're sitting here behind a desk. You should be an idol. <laughs> oh, thank you. Gosh. But to skip my life, I am a bit too old to be an idol. I couldn't get into it now. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I turned 36 this year. Baby! You're kidding. <laughs> Uh, also, Doofy Doo, thank you for the raid. Iris? You mean Acer? She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. Oh, if shit. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. No, it's fine. This can wait until she's done. What do you think, chat? Let us know what you think uh, she's podcasting about. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Date. A <laughs> girl with the big tits is sitting behind the counter. Yes, yeah. that's what I've decided to call her. Not to her face, of course. Well, that's good. <laughs> wow, yeah, okay. <laughs> Hey, girl with the big tits. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, we tried our best, team. We tried our best. Um, excuse me? Shit, I said to her. never look back. Incredible. Wow. Fantastic. Quality uh, there. Also, 10 out of 10. Shiny Caterpie gifted a sub, as well as Beck gifting a sub, and thus named Digital Tier 10 Bit saying, Wes was in a whole ass play about lizard person acceptance. This is true. Yeah. <clears throat> See? I'm going against my uh, that entire philosophy. What are they doing? No. Where have you been? Do Not you that we care routine? at all. I don't know your normal routine. I went to a and I don't want to know. <laughs> And I ate some ramen at Juro's, and then headed over to the PC cafe to browse threads. You know, normal. Damn it. If that's normal, I haven't had a normal day in my life. <laughs> you gotta get to more Dojin stories, is, Dante. I was, I was just holding that hot dog in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything. Wait. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. Though it is plainly obvious, I did a thermal check on Ota's body. This is his current body temperature. That's what I thought. Have you forgotten, Ota? You're my thrall. You don't want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? Huh? Wait, it's no big deal. I just... You better start talking. Okay. It's Ota. That it is, unfortunately. Last night, I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket, and I saw Renju come out of the building. Was he alone? Ooh, hot time. with him. A man. <laughs> we playing charades. Hey, please don't make me see the thermograph every time. A woman. Um. Okay, this is very <laughs> painful. <laughs> okay, look. I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? N no, it definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Got it. So Renju was with Iris. Okay, fine. There's no point in hiding it, I guess. You're right. Renju came out of the building with Tessa. But Tessa has nothing to do with this. She wouldn't murder anyone. She wouldn't hurt a fly. She's an idol. Idols don't kill people. Tell that guns uh, kill people. Guns kill people. <laughs> Tell that uh, I don't know some famous person who's killed someone. 
Doesn't Tell that matter. to OJ. He was a football idol. There, go with it. Roll with the, the joke. Got him. Roll, roll with that joke. Tessa is a savior to me. I know, we get it. You're weird. A Tessa I know wouldn't hurt anyone. The first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block. And I saw all this awful negativity online and I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. And it was the lowest point of my life. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. I mean, yeah. listen. We don't need a dunk on him for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give him credit on that one. He's making maybe a little bit too much out of this, but like, it's his passion, and like, come on. Pure chance, yeah. I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing. And it made me realize something important. You don't have to care what people think, you know? Well, maybe you should care a little bit. You know, because because <laughs> you, <laughs> you don't you don't have to care what people think. I mean, look at her; she's so bad, but she keeps doing <laughs> it anyway. That attitude is something all great creators need to have. After that, I became a huge Aset fan and got over my writer's block. And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. A lot of otaku like me say that Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. So there's no way Tessa can be involved in murder. Absolutely impossible. Yeah, but like, what if, you know? Mm -hmm. but do you suspect her? <laughs> I need to hear her side of the story. If I do, I might find out she's totally innocent. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. But Fucking back in the chat said, I saw Tessa sing and dance and realized you don't need talent to be successful. And then Leprechaun says, that's just us looking at Zach. God damn, y'all. <laughs> Let me a fucking break. Come on. Do it for Iris. Around 6.15, I guess. Where did they go? I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. And what did you do? I went inside Sunfish Pocket, but I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. I figured I would just go home. What? What happened? He wants the hot dog again. Oh, let me bring it back out. Oh, hey. Oh. Hey! Do you want okay. a hot dog? <laughs> Iris, there's something I need to ask you. Come with me. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. She wants the hot dog, everybody. Oh, shit, we actually brought it to, like, the police station. <laughs> yep. Uh, nobody let Pewter in the room, right? Don't worry, she's, she's not Pewter's type. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just, like, literally true. Yeah. Iris, I'm going to ask you some questions. <laughs> Please answer honestly. Why did you kill Renju? However, you do not have to say anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent? You're treating me like a criminal. Yeah, I'm just reading you your rights. Not exactly. I'm just looking for the truth, and I would appreciate your cooperation. Whoa, who's oh, that shit. handsome guy sitting in the mirror? I yeah. really wish that they made that joke. Yeah, Kacho Wachek says clean that mirror, and for real talk, yeah, what the fuck? That mirror's so dirty. I mean, it's hey, if I'm not dirty on the other side, who cares? That's a good point. Ah, clean, clean. Ah, this is the camera used to record the interrogation. Images captured by this camera are sent to the database in real time. It is later saved permanently on our servers. You can remotely control it as well. It's just like the VOD channel. 
you can get at uh, patreon.com. All of our interrogations are uploaded to our <laughs> Twitch channel. <clears throat> I heard you used to work at Sunfish Pocket. That's right. What kind of outfit did you wear? <laughs> a little over a year. Do you have a picture? Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. Yeah, I guess. Have you ever used it to kill someone? <clears throat> what about the surveillance camera? Do you know where those tapes were stored? What are you trying to say? I guess I'm just going to continue that line of questioning. Here's what Ota told me. Yesterday around 6.15 p.m., you and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket Building. Is that true? Yes. Mr. Okiura called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket ASAP. Around what time was that? 5 p.m., I think. ASAP, you I got back. Ready. Then headed over there. I guess I got there about an hour later. Wow, so much for ASAP. I mean, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> that day, I checked her call history. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. What were you doing with Renju? Then not you remember what Renju's time of death was? Uh, uh, like it was like 10, 10 yeah, something. 10, 10.30. I was because I remember I made a comment a of like a restaurant would still have people there like closing okay. yeah. at the time. What kind of job? He rented out Sunfish Pocket for a party and he wanted me to MC. <laughs> he said that it was an important party and that a lot of big shots were going to be there. But the girl he asked to do it originally got sick and couldn't come. But I turned him down. Why? Because I'm just an internet idol. I've never done any MC. And life before. is a nightmare! <laughs> Especially with important people being there. Well, with an attitude like that, your career is not going far, Iris. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, what guys, Zach will MC anything for you. Just ask him. I mean, if you pay me, like, I'll think about Zach it. Zach will MC your bar mitzvah. I'll MC. <laughs> so it's like, hi, Zach. We'd like you to MC the Republican National Convention. Fuck. I knew I shouldn't have said I, anything. I, I did say anything. <laughs> I, mean, hey, okay. I mean, hey, man, that bank's enough. Go there and it just... It probably would get a lot of money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go there and see how many subtle insults you can sneak into, like, normal MCing. Oh, they love that. Uh, <laughs> also, Oinops in the chat earlier said, Hey, everyone, welcome back to the LAPD Twitch stream. Today, we're going to be interrogating the Zodiac Killer, Ted Cruz, which is just very <laughs> good. <clears throat> I left with Mr. Okira at 6.15 p.m. Then I killed him. Ah, oh, got me again, Date. Dang it. It must have been when Ota saw me. And after that? I asked Mr. Okira to take me home in his car. I got home at 7 p.m. I was home the rest of the night. What do you think, Iva? I cannot detect any contradictions. However, her story appears almost too organized. What? It's a weird thing what for about... AI to detect. <laughs> what about that seems too organized? I went to the place, talked to the guy, and he drove me home, and then I went home. I was like, I, I recommend flipping the table to get a reaction. <laughs> Human memory. Police is brutality is you didn't have to authorized. Remember anything that specific. She's yeah. like. I can remember where I was. I can vaguely remember time frames over an hour and a half. Her use of exact times leads me to be suspicious. He's uh, guesstimating. That's true. Did you want her to say, and then I got home at 7.02 and 34 seconds? No, everyone just rounds down to the nearest quarter. Yeah, I think I think her running down actually makes it okay, but... Yeah, I, I you, you, now. Maybe, if she said like seven oh three, then I'd be like, yeah, that's too exact. That's yes. weird. No, but nobody now, talks now, like Pri that. Now, Pridge, I'll give Iba the benefit of the doubt. Iris is kind of an idiot. <laughs> mm. Even idiots can remember three times. Three times. 
<laughs> yeah, called me at 5, got there at 6, left at 6.15, home by 7. Even idiots can remember four whole times of a day. Yeah. What were you doing from 7 to 9 last night? I was at home the whole time. You're sure? Taking yes. a big poop. Iba, thermograph. You know there those no two-hour dumps? Iris's body temperature. Okay, the correct question the correct question is, can anyone verify that? Yeah. She isn't lying. Dude, you go way you go to the thermograph way too quickly, bro. Yeah, also the thermograph is yeah, not a hundred percent reliable. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. What that the kind of fuck, Iba? Change. <laughs> She's a high correct. schooler. Renju's estimated time of death was eight PM last night. Yeah. Ask if her mom was home and can verify that she was at the home. Story was true. She couldn't have done it. There is another possibility. Even if Iris was at home, she could have killed Renju. You mean? But why? Hey, okay, never mind. I had, to, I had to wait. I had to wait for this question. I'll ask again. You are sure you were at home around 8 p.m. yesterday? Yes. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Why is that? My mom was at home. She came back home early this morning. This morning? Wait, she killed Renju. Why was she gone yeah. all night? Is Where that was she? not weird? She was killing Renju. Because, because I killed her too. Ah, damn it. She's Wait. having an affair but she, with but she so came back, Sejima. But she, but she came back next morning. What? Yeah, the, the victim always returns to the scene of the crime. That's what they say, right? You got me there. You got me there. You don't know. Come to think of it, Iris's mom had connections to Renju too. Iris's mom's the killer. You told me did mention that yesterday. Iris's mom is the Zodiac killer. What was her mom's connection? Renju, to Renju? was my classmate, my classmate. at Atoku okay. High. Atoku We've known each other for twenty years. Now. Sorry, Iris. I had my own anime adventure yesterday, but now I'm back in yours. <laughs> However, we have nothing to link her to the I mean, case. If you think about it, that's what all life is, right? But I am yeah. curious. We're just a series of anime, anime adventures. <laughs> what was it told me doing last night? When did you find out Renju was killed? This morning, on the news. Wait, Renju's dead? <laughs> and you were with Renju last night? You didn't think to call the police and inform them of this? Wait, how does that line of questioning make sense? Oh, sorry. Is that something you're supposed to do? Yeah, I would I mean, think the same thing, Iris. I'd be like, wait, what? When someone dies, I'm supposed to call you and be like, I was with them at this point. Yeah. I don't think that's yeah, it's so like, isn't that your job to happen. figure out that that's what happened? I had a podcast to record this morning, so... If I went to the police, I'd be late. I gotta know and what her podcast is. That would cause is. everyone a lot of trouble, you know? Hi, I'm Iris on Behind the Bastards. Hey, it's a fucking good podcast. It is a good podcast. I started listening to it because of you. It was your recommendation. Now, episode three on Andrew Am Tate should be out tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I just listened to the, the second one. It's good. That's a that's a juicy one. Mm -hmm. God, Andrew Tate. <clears throat> It's not like that. It's fine, Dante. It's true that I met with Mr. Okiora yesterday. But how do I put this? It's impossible that I'm the killer. Why? I'm a teenage girl. Mr. Okiora is a fully grown man. <laughs> You're right. A teenage girl has never done anything bad, Iris. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, she's got a point. Shut the fuck up, like boss. Could have stabbed, poisoned, or shot him dead, but strangling? Oh, okay. Actually, you know what? You know what? That's a fair. You point. got me on that one. <laughs> I forgot how he was killed. No, it's still possible. You see. Uh, oh Jesus! I, I forgot I about know. this mechanic. Uh, yeah. So, so you can you can click on it. With Renju space, and it'll tell you what. Yeah. Okay, so it was eight o'clock. Numerous okay. hemorrhages in the blood vessels of the throat and face. The weapon used to commit the murder was some kind of twisted cloth. The criminal likely wrapped it around Renju's neck and pulled. Renju then suffocated. Hmm. The more precise cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. 
In short, Renju was strangled from behind with some kind of cloth or rope. The autopsy determined that Renju vacated his bowels from muscle <laughs> relaxation upon so. death. <laughs> However, uh. no trace of this was found on the corpse or at the scene. This means that it is highly likely Renju was killed elsewhere and moved to where he was found. Huh, so that means that Renju's poop is somewhere. We have to find Renju's that poop. Renju's corpse was discovered at the maid cafe, Sunfish Yeah, Pocket. I mean, what if, what if, what if Renju was into autoerotic asphyxiation? I, I never thought I'd say this, but Iba, let's get that poop. <laughs> he was found over the counter. The wire was attached on both ends. One end was attached to a hook that was embedded inside Renju's jaw. The other end was attached to beer kegs found on the floor. The other thing is, do you think Iris could have pulled off this, pulled off this part of it? No. The kegs hold approximately 20 minutes. I just don't see time. Iris being the type to, uh, put this contraption into play. Yeah. They weigh approximately 55 It is definitely each. way too smart for Iris. Yeah, like, like, physically, sure, I guess it's possible. It would be difficult, but also I just don't think that she would do this. Yeah. Oh, so look at that. Look at that pretty man. The autopsy discovered a high concentration of benzodiazepine in Renju's body. This drug is commonly used as a sedative. It is likely that Renju was in a state of compromised okay, consciousness. This is the answer. I'm just going to look at the other things for the sake of it. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's fair. That's, that's, fair. that's obviously the answer. Selfish pocket Elevator is record, on the floor. DL6 incident, According to the blah, records, blah, blah, blah. from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, the elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55 p.m. I like the idea that this is happening in real time, so boss is just the waiting for us to answer yeah. and we're just sitting there like... <laughs> just sitting there. Mm -hmm. I, Iris, Iris has already escaped prison with Pewter. <laughs> and we're like, all right, I figured it out. Hey, where'd she go? I know this watch. It's Renju's favorite. I found it inside an oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. That means... What does that mean? <laughs> that means that Renju's oil lover was the oil drum. The type that has a lid you can open Wait a minute. about a 200 liter capacity. I'm going to let you finish it. It weighs approximately 44 pounds. Wait a minute. So there were oil drums found at the scene. We already know that the person walking away from the scene was a blue man. I knew you were this, this way. This yes. confirms it. Thank you. The blue man group is responsible. They were behind it the whole time. <laughs> this just corroborates what we already know. A heavy concentration of sedatives were discovered in Renju's body. Renju was practically in a coma before he died. He wouldn't have struggled. Damn, that's a oh, lot. Iris could have strangled him. Yeah, there's a lot. Wait a minute. Even if I was somehow able to kill him, the rest of it is impossible. The rest of it? Like hanging up his body? How do you know that? I was going to say, how did what you do know? You it's all over the news. Damn it. Was it? That's true. Damn it. <laughs> Renju weighed about 160 We almost pounds. got her. Even if she used her entire body weight, I don't think she could have hauled him up. God. Right. It would be hard for her to do it with her strength alone. But with a little ingenuity, it could be done. Ingenuity? Uh, uh, dun, 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 the dun, drums, dun, dun. right? Or. Because the drums were How what could were used to lift it up. up. Or no, it was the kegs. The oil drum, it, that's the specifically talking about the thing that had the watch in it. Yeah. I guess this is the one where we mentioned the. It's, oil only, drum, it's either right? that or the weight. Uh, just, just look at it again. See what it says. It went like. Oh, first, oops. Renju was laid no, out. You got on it. The counter. Okay. Yep. Next, the wire was thrown over the beam and connected to the hook in his jaw. Then all you need to do is put the three beer kegs on the counter. You think a teenage girl could have done that? Not really, but I, for some reason, am like really certain Iris did it. <laughs> Sure, it was hard. Like I'm going like really all in on this theory, despite it being like us having zero actual evidence the of it. Weighed 55 pounds each, and that's not impossible, even for a teenage girl. I guess it isn't impossible. 
After that, you get on top of the counter. I like how hook the other end of the wires to the kegs. On the other route, we're literally so oh like so we're ready all in to on believe Iris. this girl and her weird government conspiracy <laughs> theory. And in this one, we're like, no, fuck her. She killed this man, and here's nah. how she did it. Here's the See, weirdly elaborate way she pulled it off, then, though. What do you think <laughs> happens if you kick the kegs off the counter? Well, we we know better. We now know that Nyes is together. responsible for all of Nyes this. Nyes laws. Yeah. Renju weighs five pounds less. Hmm. I guess that would make it possible. But... But there is one more thing. What? <laughs> but Considering the state of the crime scene, it's clear Renju was killed elsewhere and brought to where we found him. If Iris is the culprit, how did she move the body? Okay, hey. we got that one. I know, I know. You're going to say you couldn't have moved a 160 pound body. Unfortunately for her, she could have. How? Oh shit. She's With the help of the blue man group. Secretly jacked. Uh, 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 the oh, 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 the drum. They're saying that his body was in the drum. She rolled it. And that was why the watch was found there. Oh. Hey, you got it. Gamers. We gaming. Gamers. They're gaming. Iris. Oh, fuck. I still want to emphasize, he has no evidence except the fact that you know what this she is? was with him two hours before he died. Do you know what this hot dog is? Do you know what this is? It's, it's a Renju's hot dog. It's favorite watch. It's Renju's favorite, favorite hot dog. dog. <laughs> this was it was given to him by his lover. <laughs> hey, Date. I know you're on a roll right now, but could you please report things like that according to protocol? No, I have to accuse random teenagers of murder. What are you trying to say? I'm saying that it wouldn't be so hard to move a body if it were in a cylinder. You would just have to roll it. I mean, there's still a lot of difficult parts to that, though. Yeah. Also, then how did she get it out of the cylinder onto the counter, then? So you're saying Renju's body was moved inside the drum. This is so weird. Which is how the watch came off. <laughs> but the suspect didn't notice it. I'm not saying anything for sure. Just that is like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying anything. What are you saying? I haven't said anything. We're a plausible deny this. I, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, just, I'm, just, I'm just shooting the shit. Well, uh, how are you doing? Realistically. We don't have any witnesses. Uh, just like, sure, we can keep her up as a possible culprit but like just let it go <laughs> this is stupid if i were rolling an oil drum in the middle of the street people would have noticed you could have put it in a car and driven it wow. i don't have a license oh doesn't mean you can't drive no seriously i suck at driving Man. even an ai can drive nowadays <laughs> are you mocking me don't make sudden outbursts like that you insulted me just be quiet. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Sophie in the chest says, no, they can't. AIs literally cannot drive, which is a really good point. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Tesla despite, cars. Despite like, Elon Musk's Tesla best car. efforts. I, I, Iris is like, no, you're right. I was using an, an AI to drive, and it just ran into Renju and killed him. <laughs> no, Zach. Teslas are, spe are especially good at running into children. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Because everyone knows children aren't people. I mean. Who are you talking to? If no, if we don't speak and don't move, she won't know what. No, we're here. Iris is. <laughs> Iris relies on movement to see. To seek her prey. <laughs> Iris, you weigh about 105 pounds, right? Where is this coming from? If only you weighed more. Or less. That is none of your business. No, I mean that your weight is relevant to the case. If the oil drum was used to transport the corpse, then the possibility of the suspect being around 105 pounds is extremely likely. What? Why do you say that? Oh, is this the elevator record that said that, like... 
Uh, yeah, it says it says the total weight of who yeah. was on the elevator. Oh, that's right. Iris, on which floor is Sunfish? Ah, I got I got a achievement for that. Nice. Hell Interrogation. Yeah. Implicate Iris. On the second floor. <laughs> that's right. So I checked the elevator records. Before the corpse was discovered, the elevator only stopped at the second floor once. At 8.55 p.m. And we discovered that the total cargo weight on the elevator was about 310 pounds. Renju weighed 160. The oil drum weighs 44. Together, that's about 205. Subtracting that from 310... This doesn't look good. Oh, it's fine. You still have zero actual evidence. Now, this obviously doesn't prove you're the murderer. A lot of people weigh 105 pounds. Or someone could have put 105 extra pounds in the elevator, sent it up, and taken the stairs to throw us off the trail. However... Date, stop. Iris is acting strange. Don't turn around. Why not? Just stay put. Keep your eyes on the wall. The fuck? There are several cameras in this room. Two surveillance cameras installed at the corners of the ceiling, and one camera on a tripod. Yeah, Iba, can you I give us the feed? To gain okay, good, to good, good. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's Iris, She's all right. She's around. She's a tiny she hot dog something under the desk. That's what it looks like. But we need to confirm something before we confront her. Hey, how'd you get my hot dog under the desk? Under the desk. Without turning around? Yes. How would I do that? Zoom. Enhance. A mirror, yeah. She's got a, she's got a bazooka. Oh my god, Oda! Iris, what are you thinking? What is that thing? Hey, answer me, Iris! She's definitely hiding something, Date. Sink with her. Oh boy. Iris oh, round boy. round four three. It's kind, of, it's kind of fucked that they just set uh, sedated her, for this. but I guess that makes sense. Not a problem. Get it started. Have they actually? Have they ever addressed? Because this is obviously like super top secret that this exists. I know. When you sync with somebody and just let them go free, like. They know about it, right? They're not like erasing their memories of the sink. Yeah. Can they, but can they remember the sink though? Is, yeah, is, they don't is, really is, is remember. It just, just a dream? Yes. Yeah, but... They and because they they're sedated and brought to the sink machine. I guess, but but like they have to remember this giant building with crazy technology in it. I mean, not if right. they're. I mean, not if they're sedated, brought That's in, true. removed, then. Before they wake up. Yeah. Uh, hey chat. Uh, we've got some some graphic content coming up. So, this? we've got we've got some blood and some acts of violence coming up. So just just be aware. Oh yeah, King, King Karen says, "Man, the Minecraft 1.19 update looks weird." That's right. This is our first time in in uh, her brain that doesn't look Minecrafty. It looks depressing. How is this related to Iris? Unknown. Tate, maybe but she's depressed. Like, <laughs> Iris, what are you hiding? Depressed people can uh, look okay <laughs> on the outside. Activate. Depressed people play Minecraft too, Date. <laughs> no, all depressed people look like emo bands. Mm. Mentalock one. 
a t the, the TV. The windows. Number three, the walls. The walls. walls. <laughs> yeah! Actually, the floor. Number four. And number the four, the, the, the sweat. Number five. And number five? The balls. <laughs> I was it like, was... can we go there? Yeah. Zach yeah, says we can. Is this a or one of Jigsaw's torture rooms? Yeah. You hear, I was, I want to play like a to game. Play? Would you like to play a game? <laughs> it's Shovel Forge, actually. The game is Shovel Forge. <laughs> Oh god, no choices! I don't like choices! Look at the blood or watch oh, yeah. the murder. So so oh. in this somnium, the very first choice you make Is splits the, the split. somnium. Okay. Yep. Well, fuck. Do we look at the blood or watch the murder? A CRT TV. CRT oh, I don't stands for cathode ray tube. Oh, Zach and I learned that, that from I being was, in the I was, Farnsworth I was about to invention. Say, yeah, the, the first show me and Wes did together. Uh, he was the creator of the cathode ray tube. That's really funny. A double door. Mr. Ray Tube. Yeah. I mean. I mean, getting a one sixth for five seconds isn't half bad. Yeah, it's pretty right, insane. but I can also do the TV thing, then use that bad timing. Ah, here. that's a good. That's a good point. For a less dramatic loss. I bridge with that. the big brain plays. Check out Which the we, what are we doing? Are we hitting it or are we spinning? Are we spinning to win or are we hitting? Violence and is usually my first answer. <laughs> 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 um, but now let's let's. Let's spin to win. Spin to win, baby. I think my first playthrough, I hit it. Is that Hitomi's face on the thing? No, it's not. It's just a different person. What is this video? Would you like to play a game? It is difficult to believe, but these are the faces of the victims of the original Cyclops killer. Oh shit! I only saw one face. What? What is going on here? Virus, what are you hiding? We should continue. There are more objects to inspect now. Oh, it's a gun hanging from that ceiling. Fucking creepy ass right, music. So I go. love it. Oh, we watched the murder. All right, yeah, you watched the murder. I don't know how we're gonna get the sweats of the now. Balls. Now, now we uh, we gotta play fucked up bop it, as you can see by our objective. <laughs> we gotta get the knife and then twist it, pull it, <laughs> and then the gun, and then the gun, squeeze it. A full body mirror. Yeah. Oh wait, did you want to do the? Yep. Yeah. Oh. A torso with a head. If it has a head, is it still called a torso? Thank you, Dante. That is exactly what I was gonna say. Uh. Choke it. Damn. Okay. Gun is up there. Gun. A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. Is it real? I mean, this whole thing's in somebody's mind, Dante, so I don't know what... Uh, Iba's got hops. She can make that jump. So, first, I'm going to see if I can burn this times two on the door like my original plan two. was. Yeah. Oh, baby! <laughs> God damn it. Soapy in the chance to choke. Is this a Zach moment? We don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Certified Zach moment. All right, boys, what are we doing? Strangle it. Um, I don't want to do that. Well, that's what we have to do, right? Now the oh, I guess so. A torso with a head. Okay.
Or do you want to push it to the ground so we replicate it? Oh no. Oh, I hate how freaky it is. Oh! Even my consciousness is being affected. Yeah, man, this is the freakiest Somnium we've done. Yeah. yeah. While I was unconscious, the room changed. Should I bring the hot dog back on screen? <laughs> to lighten the mood a little bit. We have no choice but to investigate. Is this nice at loss? I don't even know what that means. It's the meme of the guy with the butterfly. Is this nice at loss? <laughs> Beat it to death. Hot Wonderful. <laughs> Medicine bottle. Oh, this makes me think of the heavy rain. Unfortunately. <laughs> Doors, operating table, TV, mirror, medicine bottle. So the TV is over there. Oh, that's good. Drake says, Zach the hot dog is your worst bit so far. Ah, that's good. Your best bits. Hey, son. Yeah, Zach really brought a his A game oh, today. Some that's kind good. of liquid. Uh, I had bratwurst for dinner tonight. Ah, I love a good bratwurst. Soapy, I'm gonna take away your ability to pin things. Should we chug the bottle? <laughs> oh my god, that's an like option. What the fuck? Chug, chug, chug. I think we should chug. Uh, I want to chug, jug with you, Pridge. <laughs> I mean, what's the worst that could happen, Pridge, realistically? Exactly. Do not pressure me, Date. Pressure yeah, peer pressure's bad. Into drinking alcohol. Is it alcohol? Well, uh, no. This is for an investigation. I'm ordering you to drink it. You are exploiting It's your police pre peer pressure. Set up a labor union. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Based IBA. An AI labor union? Sounds dystopian. So that's just, that's just your capitalist fascist. I mean I won't drink it. Is there Fine. is there any medium? Okay, that... so that was just a complete waste of time. Oh shit. Yeah, but we found out that I that IBA's based. Is there any so, so worth an operating table thing that has AIs that isn't somewhat dystopian? We can sleep, get a big one sticks timey. Yeah, for 162 seconds, but you can we, make it 20 yeah, seconds. 20. Yeah, I mean, I kind of want to perform surgery. On you when? gotta get it times two. I don't know. It sounds spicy though. Okay. All right. Who do you intend I operate on? Can you just pretend to do it? <laughs> pretend to do it? Wait, was she holding her hands like juror number four? <laughs> no, she was holding him like, don't touch me, I'm sterile. That's how he holds his hands. Yeah, though. like juror number. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah juror yeah. number four. Oh shit, Nothing's somebody said surgery happening. on the hot dog. Good point. How disappointing. Damn. I thought it might trigger a memory to recreate itself or something. Perhaps you should abandon that line of thinking. Four minutes. Alright, that went badly. Damn. Uh, I might have to burn this timey on. Something small. I think there was an investigate that was only that 15 holds. seconds. Yeah. Yep. There is no label. I cannot determine what is inside. It's probably dangerous. I agree. We should not touch it if we do not know what it is. Even insomnia, some things should not be done. Hmm. Oh, hold on a second. A full body me- Punch that mirror! Are you sure I can break this mirror? But break that pants! No, I don't think you have the strength. Iba! <laughs> Iba! Pervert! Just punch it, and I'm not a pervert. Yes, That's, you are, dude. Yeah, you are. I mean, come on, my guy. That's objectively false. You are. 
Yeah, I'm sorry to have to break it to you, my guy. Oh, shit. You see? I, it won't break. I did not expect that. What was the point of that? Damn it, man. Nothing I'm doing is achieving anything. Mm. <laughs> What are the other options in here, man? A full body. <laughs> talk. Shit, I don't know. Try it, man. Use one of your good timies and talk to the mirror. Yeah. Can you talk? Can you talk? <gasps> what? Don't copy me. What? Don't copy me. Pervert. Date is a pervert. Incredible. Pervert. Date is a pervert. Why do I have to get called a You're pervert? an idiot! Got him. But you are one, dude. And twice. Okay, so nothing does anything in this Omnium. Damn. Got it. Well, TV is over here. An old tele... Huh. Could try another dial. Maybe it'll tell us what to do. Oh, we smack. Iris, what is all this? Damn. You have less than two minutes, Dante. What Her does anything? Turn this the, one's turn, this one's the dial. this one's one of the harder ones. Let's see what we get. showed the face of a victim of the original Cyclops killer. There was also somebody the in the background. Victim. What is going on? Yeah, part of the Red Man group. Iris has something to do with the first Cyclops case? Unknown. I do not have enough information. Guess that means we have to investigate more. Indeed. The oil drum, shelf, and another torso have been added. Let's go. Okay. Hmm. Oh, grab the torso. Can we put that on the operating table, maybe? I'm just looking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A torso similar to a... Punch it. Punch it. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I didn't get hit, did I? There is no effect on your body, Date. Hit my soul hard enough. Okay, While dramatic. While you were unconscious, a television and an old book appeared. I want to get off this ride. If my Mr. calculations Bones. are correct, it will be over soon. <laughs> Let's hope you're right. Alright, got Final. one more lock. Final Stage. lock. Can we get the sweat to drip down the balls? You have one minute left. Uh, a worn out reference book. Boo -hoo. Shoot to this. We have to get the gun somehow for this one. Bridge is looking for those secrets. He is looking for secrets. Shh, I'm looking for secrets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this TV doesn't work this time. Am I at the wrong TV? Yeah. Yeah, there's another TV on the right. Too many TVs. An old-fashioned TV. Yeah, I mean. Is it going to summon a ladder? Or a step ladder? <laughs> oh, shit. Jesus.
Jesus Christ. This was the third victim of the original Cyclops killer. Why does Iris know that? There is a possibility that she saw it online or on TV. She even reproduced the circumstances of the killing. Would her imagination explain that? Date, we have no direct evidence. For now, we must continue investigating. Right. You've got less than 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. We gotta get the gun somehow, but... <clears throat> oh, is a... Okay. That big ball up there. Yeah. Wait. We can get the sweat to drop down it. <laughs> it is a thick book. This might be a a repeat. Fly away now. God damn it. I was it. gonna say throw it at the gun. Yep. yep. Maybe it wasn't that special. I will you dumbass. God damn it. <laughs> You had a sound idea, Fridge. A revolver. Go for it. Jump! Weekly shonen. Oh! That's so funny. They can't say it because of yep. copyright. <laughs> I am not a cyborg, and thus I cannot reach that height. This is not my fault. Nobody's blaming you. Ah. Okay. Yeah. If only you were like Astro Boy. Just a locker. Now is Astro Boy a cyborg or just a full up robot? <laughs> Why is an android? <gasps> oh jeez! Oh god! Oh oh oh! <laughs> Pridge, you did it! Iba. It's all right. More importantly. The ball? Oh no! Okay, that was. Boom. Oh, the ball. The There's another smaller ball <clears throat> that hits A another smaller, smaller ball. Goldberg machine. Ghost trick, eat your fucking heart out, man. That hits nothing. Oh. Nothing. Uh. I can't wait to watch this uh, cutscene a second. Yet time. another ball. And what does this ball hit, is you it, might is ask? Is it another ball? Could it be? Oh. The floor. Oh. Oh, OK. Well, but then yet. that hits the crane, which <laughs> hits the other ball. I cannot wait for us to have to watch this entire cutscene again. Big ball, big ball. And actually, what? Oh, never mind. I was just about to watch this cutscene twice, but I guess uh, we picked the other path. Uh, uh, oh, Whee! why is everything exploding? Oh, oh going back. Christ. Crane's going back. Oh, incredible. Fridge, you ding dang did it. <laughs> Holy shit, 10 out of 10 points for Fridge. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, yeah, Date is there. Huh, that's weird. Oh, and you made it in time, too. Look at that. Yeah, that's actually wow. incredible. Holy shit. I made that in time. <laughs> incredible. That's genuinely fridge. like, like, everybody give pro, that props to Fridge on that pro one. That's incredible. gamer moment. Wow. I actually did that in time. <laughs> we don't have to watch the Rube Goldberg machine again. I am.
That's true. Hope that's true. I can probably find the uh, I'm, the other route. Is probably where I find the um. Yeah, I the... do think that the secret is in the other route. It ha- I, I mean, I, I look. I thought I looked everywhere. So say, I saw. I saw yeah. somebody say this secret they think is one of the hardest. Uh, I will say, Pridge. Oh my God, so loud. Uh, Pridge, for your to to make it not so agonizing for you, every time the room changes. Is a is a sequence where the secret could show up. Uh, okay. What happened in this? So somewhere? I think I think that that means because I think it is in the other one, but I think it does the same thing where like you interact with an object and then the room changes. Mm. So you're always in the same space, but each shift is a spot where it could show up. I think. Yeah. We saw it too. The four murdered women are without a doubt the victims of the original Cyclops serial killers. That means... The murders that occurred six years ago. Yeah? Are these memory fragments that coalesced in this Somnium? No. That means the person who killed them was... Iris. Me was glass. Was me. They had to have known this, though. Wait, hold on. It was me inside of the Somnium. Me or I and the glass. Ira Glass. <laughs> Ira Glass was the Cyclops this, killer. Hi, I'm Ira Glass, and this is This American Life. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about the, uh, the original Cyclops killings. What? Hey, did you hear something just now? Mm-hmm. It must be in your head. What? That was weird. You can't just do that. Boy. I don't know where Marimo is. Uh, I bet it's a, a weird thing. Let me find out. It's a ball of algae. So oh. It's a bunch of balls. Okay. Cool. So you're saying that there are a bunch Daddy, of balls in can there. We turn on the TV? Thank you, Jacoshi. Video is about to start. What's video drone? You haven't seen video drone? It's a cult classic. I haven't seen Save the That's not a TV anyway. Ah, <sighs> this brings back memories. Date and I consummated our love for each other many times on that table. Damn right. What? I don't remember that at all. Damn it. <laughs> what? Hey, dude. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Take roll take with, the W, Date. Roll with it, man. Okay, thank God he didn't say the cringe ass thing about chairs. <laughs> <laughs> there's not someone for there's not someone who would be who it would be inappropriate to hear it in yeah, the room. But still. Remember what the boss said this morning. The original Cyclops killer has yet to be brought to justice. After the investigation got going, it was taken over by the government and classified. That was the last we heard anything about it. Of course, they paid lip service to the idea that the investigation was ongoing, but in reality, it was dropped completely. I don't believe there's any meaningful connection. Between the original and new Cyclops serial killings, I mean. Why is that? The culprit is not the same. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. How can you be so sure? Because I can. Don't worry about it. I'm the Just original Cyclops what? killer. What? Don't worry about it. The Sinker does not always experience the Somnium they expect. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. When using the sync machine for an investigation, we don't always see the memories we expect to see. True, oftentimes a subject will subconsciously want to express their 
dark secrets and repressed memories. That is why we see them so often in Somnia, and why those Somnia are so useful for criminal investigations. But this is not a guarantee. We cannot control the content of our dreams, after all. It's like I told you before. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. This can be expressed as an equation. Dream D equals memory A plus memory B oh. plus memory C. Oh, man. This, of course, means that dream D is a fictional event. However, the same cannot necessarily be said about memory A. It B, also doesn't and C. mean it also doesn't Those mean that dream D reality. has to be a D dream. In other Those words, are different things. Fiction is built from combinations of reality. So what I saw in Somnium earlier. Yes. I believe Iris actually witnessed those events. Hmm. In the Somnium earlier, I saw someone else who might be the criminal. Who was he? I wouldn't know. Hmm. Helpful. Pewter, you said that memories happen in reality, right? But what about false memories? How do we know if the memory really happened? Even false memories are built from the pieces of real ones. If you disassemble those pieces, you will find real events. What about things you see in movies or television? The events might be fictional, but the experience is not. Our imaginations are limited to what we have seen. We cannot invent something whole cloth. Yep, no original ideas. That was a lot of nothing to just say. It doesn't necessarily mean you? this is true, but... <laughs> the entire case is a state secret. No matter how many times you ask, I won't tell you anything. Boss, literally, you saw what I just saw. How can you not tell me things? I might be a serial killer. The Cyclops killer appeared six years ago. I lost my memory six years ago. There has to be some kind of connection. You also lost an eyeball. That seems wildly specific. There isn't. It's a coincidence. Really? Yeah, where's the thermal? Where's the thermal imaging on that lie? Hey, chat, chat. I will buy all fifty-two people in chat a pizza if there is really no connection. Really? <laughs> or, or you can buy me fifty-two pizzas. Ooh, chat. <laughs> so he says, all right, chat, spoil it, spoil it. <laughs> don't spoil it. Please don't spoil it, chat. <laughs> you can't dream of something you know nothing about. That means Iris must know about the killings. It's not you. I dream about getting laid all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Fuck. That was really good. <laughs> Six years ago, Iris was twelve. Yeah, twelve year old they can do it all those murders. Yeah. Did she witness the crime at <laughs> twelve? Well she did because her mom got jacked, but not yeah. just one, but all four. Hmm. Help me understand this. Summarize for me. What I saw during the sink earlier, that was the scene of the original Cyclops serial killings, right? Yeah. So the person doing the killing was the original Cyclops killer. Right. Did you see him? He was... I saw your face. The original Cyclops killer was... Me. It can't be. That's impossible. Date, you cannot say that for certain. Well, thank you, you voice no inside my head. Six years ago. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. I forgot, that. I forgot he said that. You're missing your left eye. So you steal them from others. Oh, 
Like, can they explain the circumstances of how we came to have this position yet or not? Like... Nah, and it's no not one know us before, Did literally no one know us before six years ago? It's not important. They've said it, guys. Don't <sighs> worry about it. Like, how many more times do they have to say it doesn't that's matter that's before that's you that's believe that's it? That. I'm kidding. You can't be the Cyclops killer. See? Really? Because? Of course not. Do you think I would hire a serial killer? Yeah, exactly. Okay, but... I mean... Yes, maybe. I mean, look at Pewter. You interrogated here. Iris before the sink. That's true. Boss seems Insomnia just unhinged just enough to do that. Of the fear you put in her. That is such a bad explanation. Boss, summarize for me. Am I a serial killer? I didn't learn anything from speaking <laughs> with Boss and Peter. That whole conversation was fucking pointless. Anything. The mystery only grew deeper. More dotted dot dots. Peter, sh Peter, Peter, Peter. Peter, Peter. shook me from my thoughts. Dante, it looks like Iris is about to wake up. Got it. I headed to the sink room. Hey, Iris, about that dream earlier. Dream? What dream? There is no point in asking her, Date. The subject of a sink does not experience Somnium in the way that you do. They will not remember it. And what about the Cyclops killer from six years ago? Cyclops killer? I remember hearing it on the news. But I was just a little girl. I don't remember anything specific. You don't? No. What about the scene of the murder? I don't know. I've never been there. But dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. Yeah. So many ellipses. Date, could you take Iris home? Huh? We do not have enough evidence to hold her. An insomnium, we couldn't find anything. The law demands that we release her. Uh, and actually, Date, speaking of, you're you under arrest. Define, Date. You're under arrest, actually. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Date could say, I, Hey, I don't want to be the one to take her home. She had a really awkward car ride. Can I not do it? We're not friends of this route. You know, Date, what you gotta do. Date, get her could we dog. make a stop first? File time. Iris A. Uh, that's the right. Hey. Oh, good ring reference. Samara reference, love it. Ooh. And some hot science boy design. Not gonna lie, without yeah. the without the the lab coat on, it feels a little salacious, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. that, it's that bodysuit. It hugs all the curves. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, all, all the right places. All the curves. Yeah, I was going to say, we still got like six Somniums left. Six or seven. Okay, yeah, that feels about right. Savior. What? I that Tessa was a savior. I mean, some people would, what? Isn't that a little extreme? Iris hasn't saved the world or anything. She's not a Samaritan. <laughs> people who are in trouble, people who are in a bad place in life, someone like Iris can be a savior, and that's what matters. Thank you, Uchikoshi, for this uh, lesson. Collage. To glue in French. I did not I have, know that. I have yeah, I no idea where we even saw that word. Yeah. Peter describes dreams as a collage of memories. It sort of reminds me of Mormon bubbles. Tell someone you love to image search it. Oh no, guess All what right. I'm gonna do. But Zach, I don't love you. Whoa! <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, oh no! I literally searched Mormon bubbles and the 
first thing that came up is <laughs> knowyourmeme.com Mormon porn. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it though. Yeah, yeah. It's it's putting things over things that aren't yeah, safe for yeah. It. it makes you it makes your brain think things are naked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, I gotcha. Chad, don't Google it. I mean, you can. It's technically completely wow. safe for work. But hey, uh, Chad, guess what? Spoiler alert: Zach just said he, he doesn't love you. Whoa, we're going <laughs> up now. Whoa. Yeah. What Life is got this? flipped, turned upside down. I'd like to take a minute. What Just sit right there. What is this? Sure. Where? Marble. It's a bar in Golden Yokocho. You know about that place? Yeah. Mr. Okiura took me before. You didn't say Why? that we went the other route? Why did he take you there? Also... Was that that she never mentioned that when the other route, right? Yeah, you're 100 percent right. It's weird. Why do you want to go there? There's something I want to talk about. We can't talk here. It might take a while. Iris is like, what I want to get think? fucking drunk. There's no reason to refuse. Besides, there's a lot I want to ask her too. All right, sure. Iris nodded and pulled out her phone. Is she sending a Nile message to someone? No, oh, she's texting Oda. I was curious, but I didn't want to pry. I turned the wheel. I turned the wheel and drove right off this bridge. <laughs> they go to Marble. Well, let's go the fastest way to Marble. Burn! <laughs> Car, submarine mode. I, I know a shortcut, Iris. Well, see, now we're at an actual bar and restaurant, which means it's a perfect time. When we walked in, I didn't see Mama anywhere. For a hot dog. I saw something much, much worse. Oh, God. <laughs> to my surprise, I saw Oda sitting at the counter. Tessa! Oh, Ota! Damn it. The fuck she, are you doing here? Oda, she rolled over on you. Tessa told us everything. You're the original <laughs> Cyclops killer. <laughs> you can say Sebastian. The special. Oh, yeah. You gotta see if there's a, a funny movie pun on the wall. Oh, yeah, I guess we haven't seen this side of the, oh. the room yet. I know, we? this is the first time you've been over here. This might be a not, no jokes yeah. moment, unfortunately. Boo. After what we just went through, you gotta have some jokes. I was niling with Tessa earlier. She said she was going to Marble, so I got here just before you did. Look, I was really worried about her. She was about to be charged with a serious crime. No, this is my new one. You're thinking of the one I dropped in that puddle. Oh, she left a little while ago. Just left you alone in the bar? She what? She said something about going to help an acquaintance. She told me to watch the place until she got back. What? All right. Guess she just assigns random people to do that. I, I always forget yeah. that Oda is a 24 year old, but still. How well do you know Mama? Not at all. What? It's my first time here. I wasn't particularly surprised. Mama's always depended on the kindness of strangers, ever since she opened Marble. Oh, uh, yeah, that's your first mistake, trusting Ota. This actually works out nicely. I want to ask you something, Ota. It's about a Nile message you sent Iris. You said you wouldn't tell anyone about that thing. That you'd stay quiet no matter what. What were you talking about? Well, uh... I'll tell her about the two witter thing. I swear I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> She's fine. Just don't tell anyone else, okay? But before I tell you... Who's that? Oh, shit. What? At the door. Someone's standing outside. 
Is it a trick? God damn it! Why did you? Uh, how did you fall for that? God damn it! <laughs> Uh oh! Chrono is just as he's von Karma does. Oh, oh no! Holy shit! Wait, we never found out that Ota's real last name is von Karma. His real last name is Cyclops Killer. <laughs> Hello, yes, Mr. and Mrs. Cyclops Killer. When I woke up, I was lying on the sofa. <sighs> Where am I? My head was killing me. My memory was foggy. I felt a sudden pain in my neck. What the fuck? Hey, what's up, Mama? <laughs> God damn it. I shot up from my neck. When I looked over the counter, I saw a monster staring back at me. God damn it. Took me a few times before I realized it was just Mama. It looks like you're awake now. As Mama spoke to me, it all came rushing back. I remembered everything. Got hazed by the world's smallest 24-year-old. It'll be three o'clock soon. In the morning, of course. Shit. So we got knocked out for a while. Oh, I damn, tried. Still doing up, Mama. Couldn't budge. I thought you were passed out drunk, so I left you like that. But I didn't have a glass in front of me, right? So you weren't drunk? No. Didn't have a single drop. No. Oh, I thought you were drinking straight out of the bottle. Mama, I got tased. Just like the old days. Also, I do appreciate that the bottle exactly to the right of her shoulder, or her right shoulder, from our perspective, is uh, very clearly Jägermeister. Yeah. yeah exactly. And yeah. to the right of that, like a few steps to the right of that is Cointreau. I want to say one of those is Green Chartreuse. These are very, these are very much modeled after a real bottle. Uh, that's, yeah. That looks like the Bacardi bat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's uh, cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. that. Ooh, I think I see. I see. Oh, that's uh, that might be. That might be. Uh, that's the Jagermeister. That's the again. Jager again. Yeah. A lot of them just repeats. The the green one up like up into the right looks like beef eater. The the like English gent in the center on the top. Yeah, that like one. That one. Uh, I could be. Yeah, yeah, I can kind of see that. Yeah. Ota, the boy I asked to watch the bar. I'd say he's too old to be called a boy, but yeah. He was already gone boy. when I came back. All I saw was you getting your beauty sleep on the floor. Yeah. Damn it, Ota. He tased me. It appears that he took off with Iris. What were you doing during all this? My power was shut down due to the stun gun. I have rebooted in safe mode and am now operational. Oh boy. Where'd they go? Date, the boss is calling. Oh, how am I going to report this one? Why is she calling at 3 a.m.? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Oh, boy. Now the killer... Well, just watch the... Video. Okay, hey, chat. Uh, guess what? Another trigger warning. Oh, uh, blood and... Very violent stuff coming up. So, oh. get ready. I sent the address to Iva. It's the fucking... Oh, shit! That's a magic yep. trick. Yep! And she's still breathing. What the fuck happened? Oda... I want Oda to be behind this. Just so we can send him to jail. No, that's... The criminal is streaming this live. Oh, shit! Iba, the source. Identified. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Well, well, well. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna My be my old one. friend. We need to get to the site. We better now. hurry. I think Mama had ran out of marble. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Chrono is just says, it's on Twitch. What's we can raid the Cyclops killer after the stream. <laughs> Our destination is far from here. 20 minutes at the fastest. Please, please let me make it in time. <laughs> So Peter Tenvet saying, Zach, you're not gonna believe this. I suddenly have a stream Sick idea. Bastard. What the fuck? It was a polar bear. What? <laughs> it was a Cyclops polar bear the whole time. <laughs> it's just like the secret ending to Silent Hill 2. The polar bear has a hot dog. What? It That's was crazy. You the whole Zach, time and place. <laughs> you're right. Just kidding. Quick. I'm making jokes put, about polar bear. Swick. Quick, put the hot dog on top of Iris so it cuts through oh, it God. first. Oh, okay, okay. Fuck off, Oda. Okay. This is some horse shit. Polar bear, get him! Stay away from Tenta! I know I probably shouldn't be rooting for the polar bear in this case, but... I'm rooting for the polar bear. I kept my foot onto the gas the whole time. I could feel the sweat on my palms. The engine raised a high-pitched scream. And and the weakness in my knees. <laughs> my heartbeat was pounding in my ears, shaking me to the core. How much time had passed. The feeling of time itself had disappeared. Wow. Eventually, the car reached a long bridge. Shortly after, the image changed. Uh, what happened? <laughs> oh, fuck. No, it can't be. No. Stop! Wait, do I need to put the hot dog yeah. on for violence? Yeah, once again, folks, this is pretty brutal. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Hey, I thought polar bears were white. <laughs> so he says no, the, the ketchup got all over the screen. Yeah. This is their revenge for global warming. So thus named Digital said, no, can't she just live for once? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> King Karen said, it's a tragedy no matter how you slice it. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah Starsky and Hutch yeah that was nice well there's two cars already parked here so we're not the only ones here man oh fuck off uh oh what happened here uh, I bet Oda's inside the puppet, or inside the this man. I bet, whoever was originally swapped out and put Oda's body in. Yep. Boys. We got Mission a mystery. Accomplished. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Uh-oh. Someone dropped the someone dropped the famous Mission Accomplished video. You know what? Boo! We don't need to see the other routes. This is the good ending. We got, yeah, we got this is boys. the good ending. We got, we got the good ending. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. That's the end of our playthrough. We got the best ending you can get in the game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't be laughing that much. Motherfucker. I'm just wondering who the fuck could it be? Could it be? be? I don't there know. It's are. a... It, Finally. There's a polar bear. I was looking all over for you. Boss, it was you, wasn't it? It's rare 
to see you down like this. But it's understandable. I got tased you by a kid who then this, died. Don't you? Who then got sawed in half, despite the fact that we definitely saw the saw hitting Iris. So, like, curious how Oh, I was under the impression that Iris still died. They, uh, I, I thought they fair. both died. I guess that's fair. Yeah, no, they're both dead. Up yeah. about taking okay. Iris to Marble. And about letting Oda get the upper hand on you. Am I right? Yeah, that's, that one's got a really sting, doesn't it, Date? <laughs> it was pretty shocking. Shall I tell you what Investigation HQ thinks? Ota Matsushita is a criminal stalker who committed murder-suicide. I mean... Could be... I mean, I could think of... Less worse possible. conclusions. Yeah. I could think of... <laughs> mo I could think of... I, I, I don't even know. I mean, I, I could buy it. Yeah. Ota had a selfish love for Iris. He was under the delusion that Iris loved him too. But Iris refused Ota. On account of, you know, him being a total loser. So Ota decided that he and Iris should be together in the afterlife, killed her, then killed himself. Oh no, the hot dog! Shit, fuck! <laughs> Damn it. That's ridiculous. Ota would never kill Iris. <sighs> and how do you explain the other two murders? Iris's left eye was hollowed out. Just like Renju and Shoko. Those three murders were definitely executed by the same person. The new Cyclops killer. There's no way that's Ota. Too many pieces don't fit. Too many contradictions, like killing Iris. Such as? Why is the camera being pointed at us? This Doesn't feels feel weird. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. Why am I under interrogation? We, we, we say as we're having cameras stare at us right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what about that polar bear costume? Yeah. The culprit was wearing a polar bear costume, probably to hide their identity. But if murder-suicide was the plan, the costume served no purpose. Uh, that's a good point. Maybe he was thinking like this. The reason Iris and I can't be together is because her agency prohibits it. That's I guess she didn't even answer the polar bear one. Yeah. Making the president, Renju, the ultimate bad guy in his mind. Mizuki is Ota's close friend. Yeah. Do you really think Ota would kill his friend's father? Exactly. I mean, if Ota's truly nuts. That's true. And all, yeah. Sh Shoko was married nothing. to Renju. Emphasis on the was. Renju by killing her. Okay, I know. That, that's an absolute stretch. That's a stretch. Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> you for years. Ota knows all about it. He wouldn't use Shoko to get to Renju. No, oh, hot dog. Stay away from Teta! Ota showed himself on the stream. It is important that you never see the two of them at the same time on the stream. For sure. That is definitely if he part was of the mystery. Kill Iris and then himself, why would he do that? The only reason you would show yourself like that is to prove that you weren't the culprit. He's trying to play out some weird hero fantasy before Ota it happens. and the polar bear on the screen at the same time would prove that they're not the same person. But they're not on the screen at that the same time. That behavior would be totally unnecessary if he was going to commit suicide anyway. Bingo. Well, maybe he wasn't planning on dying at first. After he killed Iris, he realized that he couldn't live with himself. But why? Where the fucking stupid ass So he lies down on the workbench and turns on the ice cutting machine himself? Yeah, I don't how does buy he do it. that? There are some additional discrepancies. I analyzed the investigation report. Judging by his wound, Ota was stabbed in the side by a kitchen knife or something similar. Are you sure? I am. I told the boss what I've found. 
Oh, I know that. Well? Ota could have stabbed himself. Maybe he thought it would be a fatal wound, but when it didn't work, he went for the ice cutting machine. That is the most then wild. Shouldn't we have recovered the kitchen knife from the scene? Yeah. Maybe he threw it in the ocean. Uh, man, boss, you are stretching more than me accusing Iris for stretching. Yeah. Boss, come on. Ota goes out to the water, stabs himself in the gut, throws the knife over the side, then walks back to the warehouse. And there's no blood trail. Well, I wasn't being serious. Shut the hell up. I didn't think Oda was the culprit from the beginning. Then why go then through why all that? Then why are we doing this? <laughs> what are we talking about? Nice weather we're having. Yeah. <laughs> I was just playing devil's advocate Nice for murder HQ. we're having. Really? Yes, really. I was just really, testing Really, really? More ellipses. Anyway, Ota didn't kill anyone, and he didn't kill himself. Here's what I think happened. Well, he did kill his dignity. Ota knew Iris was kidnapped, so he rushed onto the scene. That's when he saw the culprit wearing the polar bear costume. He tried to fight him off, but ended up being stabbed in the side. He was weakened and losing blood at the culprit's mercy. The culprit forced him into the costume, then under the ice cutting machine. And then... Then... Who is the culprit? I wish I knew. We're up to four victims. But Ota was a special circumstance. He wasn't specifically targeted by the culprit. Yeah, he didn't have his eye stolen. Right. Yeah. And he was the only one to not have his eye pulled out. Exactly. So let's focus on the three other victims. Shoko, Renju, and Iris. What connects these three? Connections. Mizuki. If you find a connection between the victims, you find a connection to the culprit. That's the theory of investigation, right? Mizuki's you think the, the new Cyclops killer is related to them somehow? Maybe, maybe not. That is a good starting point. Oh, okay. At first, I didn't see Mizuki's name on there, and I was like, bullshit, they're fucking protecting Mizuki. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Right, am I doing the obvious one or are we doing funny shit? Uh, I mean, yeah, funny I shit. I mean, Mom, it was totally MoMA. Yeah. It was totally MoMA Kumakura. Renju and Shoko were connected to the Kumakuras. That is actually true. there's no connection to Iris. Uh, yes, he's, there he's, is! He's a fan. We just don't know that in this route. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. We don't know that. Congressman So Sejima. Renju, Shoko, and So. There is a connection between Renju and Shoko through the Kumakuras. But again, I can't see any clear link to Iris. Again, her mom is visiting this guy on the weekends, but we don't know that in this route. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Hitomi and Renju are definitely linked. They were high school classmates, and she did say that she met Shoko twice. But I can't imagine she would kill Iris in such a gruesome way. No matter what the circumstances were, it seems impossible to me. Mayumi had motive for killing Iris and Renju. I Mayumi forgot his mom looked Iris, like that. And she didn't think about the right? gate either. Yeah, we've Since barely Renju talked to Mayumi. President. Anyway, the weak point is Renju's ex-wife, Shoko. I can't imagine why Mayumi would kill her. Also, if we don't if we think Iris would have trouble doing all this body moving, I don't think uh Mayumi's yeah. gonna have much better luck. And above all else, she would never harm her only son. I do love like Mayumi's design is so like Dragon Ball NPC and I love it. Yeah. I know Renju and Shoko, and I'm connected to Iris, but I have an alibi. Aside from Shoko, there's no way I could have killed any of them. No. Now that I think about it, Shoko too. I don't remember killing her. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like how that part came last. Like, I have an alibi. People could prove that I didn't kill the other two. Oh, also, I don't actually remember killing yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> but Date, you don't remember anything from six years ago. Who's uh. this didn't happen again? My memories from six years ago are missing, but I still have my memory of recent events. Or do you? And if I start doubting myself now, 
Date, I can say without a doubt that there is zero possibility you are the new Cyclops killer. But not the I've old been one. I've you for years. I know better than anyone that you are innocent. All right, the obvious All right. One. Izuki has the strongest connections with all three victims. Shoko and Renji were her parents, and she was close friends with Iris. She was good friends with Ota, too. But that's why I could never believe Mizuki would kill all four of them. She also Thinking can bench press like ridiculous. 500 pounds. Mm -hmm. That is true. She could easily have lifted those bodies. But we uh -huh. didn't press the child abuse button in this timeline. Why would she kill both her parents? I thought it over. But boss. it's different. In that route, the child was being abused. In this route, the child is, is the abuser. <laughs> <laughs> It's still know, child abuse. It's just the other way around. Uh huh. And no leads to pursue? No. Then there's only one thing you can do. I mean, I would still stick with the Muzik, the Mizuki lead, not as the suspect, but the next target. You yeah, don't. yeah. The connection doesn't necessarily mean you found who did it, it just means you found a pattern among the victims. Continue yeah. your investigation. Do whatever it takes to get the culprit to get justice for the victims. You're uh, right. Thus named digital. This Got is it, arguably boss. the worst route in the entire game. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay. I was misled. Um. Yeah, I guess Date residence because we think Mizuki would be there. I agree with you, Bridge. Like, the person I want to follow up next is Mizuki to be like, hey, I've got some more bad news for you. But hey, also. Hey, uh, everyone you care about is dead. So you just lost yeah. both your parents. Guess what? Your two best friends. His friends. You're on the gone. market for new friends. Hey. But you still I got, got some, me, the guy you hate. <laughs> I got some bad news for you. Everyone you love is dead. Oh. <laughs> That's happened. Happen to save. Hey, you know what would make you feel better, Mizuki? How about a really Me. big hot dog? Hot dog! Come on. Get the hot dog. I'll put it ready. on the couch next to you. You can take it whenever take, you want. Take a bite, Mizuki. Yeah. You'll feel better. Up on the sofa. She looked like a uh, small animal frightened by a predator. Or a really small quick, I'm gonna go grab some more water. About murdered. That's good. That's good. There we go. Yeah. Oh, damn it. And a rabbit. That's the vic that's the killer. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna grab uh, some water really quick as well. Ooh. Go for it. Dopey, what is your request? Um, I mean, probably cheese. If I do a hot dog with any topping, it'd be cheese. Like, I'm not really much of a, like, ketchup, mustard, relish sort of guy. I mean, like, yeah, I feel like, I feel like you know, get some of that cheese sauce and bacon bits on a hot dog. Maybe crunch up some potato chips in there, too. Mmm, making me hungry. Damn. Go real crazy. Barbecue sauce and cheese on a hot dog. That's wild to me. I don't think I've ever had that before. There's like, I think because I'm from Cincinnati, uh, chili and cheese on a hot dog is like just ingrained oh. into my culture now. Okay, I'm back. Uh, Oinops, I have voice acted in save data videos. I haven't done anything. I just do it for fun. I want to eventually when, you know, I stop being 
really bad about self-confidence and stuff, but we'll get there. We'll get there, chat. I appreciate you guys tuning in and saying nice things when I do stuff. It means a lot to me. Seriously. I, well, I do seriously regret. I almost told you to uh, send in a self tape for uh, that Danganronpa fan game uh, that just got like the first chapter released. Uh, I think you would have you would crushed it in that. Oh, did they did they have self tape auditions or something? Yeah, yeah, they had open auditions. Uh, they decided back in January of last year, but uh, gotcha. yeah, Eden's Garden exactly. Ginkyron. So, uh... so about your friends. <laughs> Maybe we talk about the warehouse first. Let's ease into it. Oh no, she already knows. <laughs> There's nothing. We don't say anything. Mm. Mizuki must know. Summarize for me. About Iris Nota. Of course. The news was distributed heavily across the internet. Man, these cops can't keep a murder under wraps for, like, for real, five seconds, what? can they? Not just in Japan, but worldwide. Three days ago, Mizuki discovered her mother's body. Two days ago, her father's. This morning, two of her best friends. It is completely understandable that she is at her mental limit. Can I be left alone for a while? Oh, that's true. It was live stream. That's right. Thank you, Apollo Justice fanboy. Are you okay? Uh, do you really need to ask that? Yeah. Yeah, of course she's not okay. She certainly didn't seem so. Yeah, dog. But I can't stay by your side forever. Iba, contact Abyss. See if they can get Mizuki a good counselor. See if they can find someone who's won a Nobel Prize in psychology. Yeah, and, uh, for real. Get them over to this kid. Understood. <sighs> I stayed with her for a little while, but we didn't see God. It. Having nothing the, more to say. The, the catharsis when we get to explore more of Mizuki stuff is going to be so good. I can't. Ugh. All right, well. All right, who do we want to give the bad news to next? Or at uh, least discuss the bad news with next. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Is that... Oh, okay, snap. Uh, Beck just gifted us up to Wes. Thank you, Beck. Also, I completely missed shouting out several people. Uh, Rinley just resubbed for 16 months. Thus named Digital. I already read that. Uh, and forever, hey, ever, ever hey. ago. Soapy cheered a dollar saying, all right, little men, what's your favorite hot dog topping? Uh, and I just do, do ketchup and mustard. But if relish exists, I will take relish. I mean, I usually do it plain unless I'm being, unless it's like a chance to be real fancy that I want like cheese sauce. and Just bacon plain? Bits. What? You gotta, yeah, you gotta, I mean, you gotta do it up. Hot dogs are good, but you gotta add things to them. Um, you forget I have the, I have the that's food true. palate of a eight year old. That's true. That's true. Or or Cincinnati style, I'd put some chili and cheese on it. But uh, there's, actually oh, yeah. place I, there's actually a place I went to in uh in Cincy last time I was down that did fancy hot dogs. And mine had like, oh. and then I had like cheese, bacon, and crushed up barbecue chips on it. Mm. It was uh, delicious. Uh, this name digital to your ten bits saying seriously, uh, who would watch that stream? How did the mods not take it down immediately? I assume it was put up, and I, I mean, hey, people, people streamed porn on Ninja's Twitch channel after he stopped streaming for a little bit. So weird, weird things get by. I mean, uh, also been, live leak, yeah. live leak. I forgot yeah. about that. I yeah, mean, there have you. been cases of violent things uh, being it streamed on live yeah. streams. Yeah, um, what they before, somebody streams, what the execution of that. like Saddam Hussein yeah, I mean, or some less, shit. Less, yeah, let's yeah. not get too into that. Sort of stuff, but that that has happened. That's a good point. Yeah, let's not talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> it was so quiet. I feel like I could hear the floating dust. Mm. I stepped inside. 
I thought it was empty, but I saw a shadow in the corner. This is eye. this is actually very sad. Aw, man. Yeah. yeah. Who else were we going to find here? Yeah. It yeah, was this me, is, Yumi. This is this is pretty bad. It was oh. like watching a decaying old tree cling. Okay, you didn't need to use the word pathetic. <laughs> did, oh. did I pathetic did I mention here. did I mention she was old? That the tree was incredibly old. Did I mention that part? Oh. Yeah. I feel, like, yeah. I feel like we were we were right to press the child abuse button last time. I I I really we wish you could say, look. We did say significantly more lives by pressing the child abuse button, but it's don't true. read too much into that. Yeah. I really wish I really wish that you could look at the the lucky cat statues and go, "Hey Mayumi, you know if you meow at one of those, it's good luck." Uh, Jesus anyway, Christ! About your son. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, nobody really seems to want to talk. This is your fault. Okay, well... I heard from the police. Because you didn't take care of Iris. My boy Ota got involved. Date, I looked into the investigation report. To be report. fair, your child tased me, so... Look, let's let's let the grieving mother blame us. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Yumi confirmed Ota's body early this morning. I see. I'm sorry. I want to be alone right now. Yeah, that's fine. Did you not hear me? I said leave. <laughs> Date, let's go. She is in no state to talk. Yeah, oh, man. You're right. So can I get like some food or Soapy, right, Soapy, don't give me that. You said that she was a wife. I'm just gonna leave you a hot dog here, Mayumi. Soapy, you can't kick your wife's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I won't I don't I won't condone that. We <laughs> Zach's too powerful with the hot dog. <laughs> I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put this on every stream layout so I can just give a hot dog to any character. Uh, all right, only one last grieving parent to talk to. Yay. Then we'll be done talking to grieving parents. Yay. Ooh, good, good song. When I visited the Sagan household, I found Hitomi with a hollow look in her eyes. She let me in and asked me to sit on the sofa. I agreed and sat down. But after that, I couldn't say a single word. The heavy silence weighed on both of us. <sighs> Iris was my everything. We always went everywhere together. Whether it was buying clothes or going to the movies, or taking a walk, or going shopping at the supermarket. When she was young, she would just hold one of my fingers. Her hand was too small to hold mine. And it was two, then three. And finally she could hold my hand. But eventually, she left my hands altogether. She started crossing her arms, being independent. Even though she needed constant attention growing up. Being a Twitch streamer. Her memories are a part of this room. When she was a baby, she fell off that sofa and cried and cried. One day she tore up her picture book all over the floor here. Another time she drew with crayons all over the window. She painted my portrait on Mother's Day. Scratches on the floor, chipped plates, burn marks on the table, stains on the cushions. Everything you see, it all holds a memory of her, but why?
Hitomi, my entire focus is on this case. God damn. Is there anything at all you can tell me? I don't know if this is important, but... No, please, tell me. I may have told you this already. I met Renju's wife Shoko twice before. The first time at the wedding. The second time a month ago. That second time was in the waiting room of the prison. Prison? There's an acquaintance of mine from when we were younger. You know, I 86. Them a few times a year. Because he's uncle. I saw Shoko. I don't think she noticed me, but I recognized her as Renju's wife right away. She was there for the same reason I was to visit one of the inmates. Do you know who? No, I don't. We didn't talk. Which prison? Fuchu Prison in Tokyo. Fuchu. Prison? Oda was one of my students. I taught him in elementary school. I heard it from the police. Oda tried to help Iris and ended up... I don't know what to say. I have no words. I'm sorry to have bothered you. I'll be going now. I don't know what to do. Thinking about her. Dante, please, you, you have to catch them. Please, please. I will. Trust me. Damn, what a scene! <laughs> like, holy shit! Yeah, the, ri the writing in that is really good. Oh my god! And the, oh my god! And that's actually the longest we've gone without making a joke or sarcastic. No, comedy. I was and like, I'm not making a fucking joke over yeah, that. Are you kidding I, me? I think that's the I think that's the longest we've ever gone without making. A I'm joke not gonna or pop a comedy. hot dog on screen for this scene. <laughs> holy shit! Oh. Some, there are some scenes that not even. No. Uh, well. No, well. Hey, guess what? Guess <laughs> what? It's time for. It's time to lighten it up, folks, with some good old-fashioned Kagami jokes. You can't put Kagami here. You you thought we thought this was getting too serious? So what's his name's back? God damn it. I stepped into the cold storage warehouse. The air conditioning conditioning wasn't running, but it was still cold. The temperature hadn't raised much at all. The cold air <laughs> sunk into my skin. Several people in the chat said Kagami wants a hot dog. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> but the center of my who's, body. Who's Kagami? That's maybe we'll see. We'll see if this this uh, officer wants a hot. Oh, there's a hot dog. It, it's got sauce all over the floor. <sighs> Ketchup. No, nothing so far. Hey, look, no jokes this time. Aww. <laughs> I checked this place point by point, but didn't find nothing. Uh, so it's you found anything? something because you did not find nothing. No. What are you hiding, police officer? Is this Oda's blood? Can we ask? Oh, okay, I guess we just have to wonder. Iris and Oda's blood. Right here. Iris and Ota were. I am sure you are already aware of Ota's time of death. Just before I arrived. About 3 30 in the uh, morning. And I was gonna and I actually really quick. Uh for everybody, Zach and Pridge especially, uh, I think we're actually getting to a really good 
cliffhanger stopping point Perfect. at the end of this investigation Perfect. segment. So it should probably be like 15, 20 more minutes. That's yeah, perfect. That's right. my that's my guess. Yeah, no, that's, that's perfect. On the cause of death. Right, about that. Getting sawed in half? Ota had a stab wound from a kitchen knife in his side. Correct. What was the exact cause of death? Was it the knife wound or? I cannot determine that. I can conclude that the knife wound was at least close to being fatal. Even if Ota was still alive on the workbench, he was certainly on the verge of death. If he weren't already extremely weak, we would expect to see more signs of struggle. <laughs> Maybe Ota was trying to help Iris, jumping at the criminal. That led to a scuffle, and, end up, and Ota ended up with a knife wound in his side. He lost all his power to fight back. He was forced to be put inside the costume, then finally cut open by the ice cutting machine. But why? Look at his mouth. There's something Why sticking out of his mouth. The costume on Zach! <laughs> <laughs> it looks really funny, though. <laughs> they put wait. They put way too much ketchup on that hot dog. <laughs> Iris's estimated time of death and it. cause of death oh have been confirmed. We don't need to see it again. Recording. It was a live stream filmed in real time. Which means Iris's time of death is 3.20 a.m. Iris also had her left eye removed. Yeah. And like Renju and Shoko, Iris's left eyeball has not been recovered. <laughs> there are only a few items on the shelf. Is this warehouse not in use? <laughs> That's the digital tier 10 bit saying this ketchup tastes a lot like iron. <laughs> Hook a paint. Ceiling frame. Okay. This forklift is old. It does not appear to be functional. It has not been moved in some time. A video camera and laptop. This is what the criminal used to stream. All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. It would be difficult to determine a suspect from them. I mean, at least ask the store owners if a polar bear came in. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I have logged into the Wi Fi in this warehouse. This warehouse has Wi Fi? This, I was about to say, what? Co. LTD. Is listed as the owner. Right. However, it's related to I found the password. What's what's the password? Anyone who saw it could have used it. What's the password? I have done some research. As the name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras, the same Okiuras we know. Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually, currently. Okiura Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. Again, they the said that managed by office representatives for the past in the other years route, but like Renju's fuck off. Died. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. In short, <sighs> Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other persons. But it can't be a coincidence. It certainly is suspicious. They, at least they acknowledge okay, that. Thank you. Date, we should get moving. Officers from the local jurisdiction are checking the warehouse thoroughly. We will not find anything of importance here. Yeah, you're right. You can ask CSI to inform you if they find anything. All right. Are you CSI? <clears throat> Let me know if you find anything. I left them know and left the warehouse. It's kind of weird that they didn't have him voice act that one line. Uh-huh. When I left the warehouse, I saw Pewter. Fucking Pewter. What is he doing here? He's gonna sell us out. He walked up to me while I was trying to work it out. Date, I have to talk to you about something. Huh? About the original Cyclops serial killings. Thank Ooh. you! Oh. Why this all of a sudden? 
Because I want you to solve this case, Mr. Date. I want you to find who did this and bring them to justice. So, if I can help you, even a little... Why didn't you say anything at Abyss? The boss was there. I couldn't speak openly in front of her. So, I decided to meet you here. All right. Let's hear it. Earlier, I told you that I was completely certain the original Cyclops killer couldn't have committed these crimes. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. Okay, see, that's, that's I a, said it. That's a comically good flashback. Yeah. See, see, I said that. Okay, okay, that one gets a hot dog on what screen. The fuck? That was funny. <laughs> Oh I'll start by my telling God. you the identity of the Cyclops killer. <laughs> Although it's more accurate Pure. to say killers. This, I, now, Peter, I swear this isn't a gay thing, but do more you want a hot one? dog? <laughs> In the first series of killings, the culprit had an accomplice. One of them was born a murderous psychopath. The other is Rohan Kumakura, the previous chairman of the Kumakuras. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, this is big news. <laughs> Don't know why they gave Date that face. It's because it's because he wants a hot dog. Oh, I can make that happen. Zach, we get this man a hot dog. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Zach, we need a hot dog. Stat. Uh, oh, how did I? Okay, wait. Uh. Oh no. Well, it's my fault. I shrank the hot dog so it's so small I physically can't show it anymore. Awesome. <laughs> Wait, where is it then? I I'm genuinely it's a meta, I'm it's as a shocked as you hot dog. at that being a possibility that I could have done that. What? Well, everyone, if anyone can find the hot dog, yeah. What? Somebody find put it put it up okay, on screen. No, no, and I, I, I gotta re add the hot dog back in, but. It's gonna be it's Wait, gonna be what? Chat's job to find the hot dog, and if they I love the idea find that it, they get a free this hot screen, dog. There's a microscopic no, no, hot no! Dog. It, it, it it fell in on itself because I made Peter eat it like three seconds ago. Okay, now it's they really each big. had a role to play. The murderer committed the homicide, and Rohan removed the eyeball. Okay. Okay. He was born with a brain dysfunction. Due to damage to the posterior pituitary gland, he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. Oxytocin is a peptide hormone linked to feelings of love, affection, and trust. It is colloquially referred to as the love hormone. It causes a tranquilizing effect which improves mood and relieves stress. It is normally secreted when the body makes contact with an object of affection, such as an embrace or caress. I'm nuts. sure you know what this implies, but <laughs> he was unable to feel love in the way that we do. However, he was able to experience a substitute. His brain was wired in such a way that allowed him to feel satisfaction through other means. Due uh, to the unique what? idiosyncrasies of his brain, he was able to release large amounts of dopamine and endorphins by performing a certain action. Oh, that's what I do on Tuesdays. What was it? Murder. Oh. Oh, you do. Don't that's what know. happens on Tuesday, no. Zach. <laughs> we got him, boys. No. Yeah. This. It's all been a, It's all been a setup for this moment, Zach. We got you, you we son of a bitch. Yeah. Me and Wes are actually Interpol. <laughs> <laughs> the police bust out my door now. <laughs> the pleasant <sighs> feeling attained through accomplishment is dopamine. Endorphins are a kind of brain narcotic. They dull pain and create a feeling of happiness. He got pleasure from killing people? It's slightly more complicated than that. Killing people was the only way he could get pleasure. He was 12 when he took his first life. That enlightened him to the pleasure of murder, which he would do again and again. Eighteen years ago, Rohan took a woman's eye. She was already dead. He put his finger into her eye socket and gouged it out. 
The reason why was no, so eyeball. He was fascinated by women's eyes. I mean, look, I find a pretty pair of eyes very appealing. Yeah, but, but I'm not trying to take him out of someone's that's head. Taking a, that's taking a bit too far there, Rohan. Yeah. By a bit, I mean way, 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 way too far there, Rohan. The beauty yeah. stimulated his greed and his desire to possess them. He needed to have them. To make them his own. Driven by this instinctive impulse, he took the woman's eye. From then on, he acquired a grotesque obsession with the eyes of dead women. Gross. He was very particular about his need that the eye belong to a deceased woman. Gross. But even being the head of a Yakuza gang, there weren't too many opportunities for him to indulge. His deepest, darkest desire went unfulfilled for years. However, he soon met his ideal partner, the aforementioned psychopath. The Zach. Cyclops killer would commit the murder, and Rohan would only take on the Tuesdays. Eye. Thus, a mutually beneficial relationship was established. This was the origin of the Cyclops serial killings. At about the same time, you were assigned to Abyss. Did I not have an eye at that point, or what? That, I don't know. The details of the original Cyclops serial killings case have become nebulous over time. That is physically impossible. You are an AI that can access the internet. The serial contains nothing of value. What? I am unable to draw any conclusions from them. What? You really have no idea? If I did, I would tell you. The original Cyclops killer had an accomplice. There were two Cyclops killers. And one of them was the former chairman of the Kumakuras, Rohan Kumakura. Rohan committed suicide by jumping to his death one year ago. That's right. That means... I forgot about that. He didn't jump, Computer, but yeah. Tell me this. One of the original killers is dead, I know that. But that means one remains. Who is he? After his fourth murder, he was arrested by the police. They it's actually uncle. picked him up on other charges. But, in oh, any yeah. case, he is currently yep. serving a life sentence in Fuchu Prison. Yup. Fuchu Prison? Yes. What's his name? In prison, he doesn't have a name. He is simply called number 89. There we go, 89. Number 89. I know who killed Shogun Adami. So, now you know why I said that. That the original Cyclops killer couldn't have committed these crimes. Because one is dead and the other is behind bars. Neither of them had the opportunity. Peter looks grimly serious. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's kind of smiling. He actually does look pretty relaxed, actually. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he's just kind of like, hey, hey, we're having a nice time right now. We never talk Walker. like this. Just one of the broys. <laughs> All right, marble. All right, last stop for the night, most likely. I know, but we're get. I do marble, and then if where we go after that isn't where I think we go, then we can call it for the night. All right. Because I'm pretty sure right after this we go to some place, and then there's a big okay, thing. Honey. But in better, uh, mama. We'll see. In better. Well, that sure about last so. night. Well, at three in the morning, anyway. You know about it? It's on every channel. You have the face of a ghost. Do you want a glass? I don't need a drink. I need information. Do you have anything? Well, let's see. I do have... I suppose you could call it intuition. Tell me. The Kumakuras are involved in this case. Remember what I told you before? That there's a relationship between Ren and the Kumakuras? Shoko also has a relationship with them. You know about her dealings with the Kumakuras, right? So basically, two of the victims are linked to the Kumakuras. Uh -huh. That must mean they're involved somehow, right? Not two. Three. Uh -oh. Three? 
Iris? No, not that one. The boy. Oh? Oh. He came here last night. Ota? Yes, from Matsushita Diner. He's linked to the Kumakuras as well. Okay. How? Have you heard the rumor? Mama told me a similar story to Ibo's about So Sejima and the Kawasaki district. Okay. The basic idea is this. Eight years ago, So sold his land in the Kawasaki district for 30 billion yen. Half a year later, an explosion at the chemical plant caused the land prices to drop drastically. And then he bought them all back. So he bought back the land yeah. for, for 1 billion. Almost like he knew beforehand that the accident would happen. Did So blow it up or conspire to blow it up? No, that wouldn't make sense. So wouldn't gain anything from that. Except 29 billion dollars. billion in cash and 1 billion in land. It's a net zero, but there's more to the story. What? Twenty-nine billion dollars in cash is not a net zero. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what that means. I mean, I get what they're trying to say, but like, the Kumakuras own a handful of real estate companies. They, of course, look legit, but they're yakuza fronts. Oh. I'll call those real estate companies the KE to keep it simple for you. The KE followed in So's footsteps. They bought up land in Kabasaki. Now, back to So. Have you heard of the plans for the casino in Kabasaki? So was the one who came up with it. Okay, yeah. Uh... I was born and raised in Kabasaki. I remember the landscape of my childhood, and I loved it dearly. But look at Kabasaki now. When I see images of the destruction on television, my heart aches like it's being chopped to pieces. But I promise you, I will revive the Kabasaki district at any cost. Casino Town Kabasaki will give new life to the city. After that, So moved fast. He submitted the bills he needed to the National Assembly after drumming up support in the right places. The bills passed and it became an official government initiative. Decontamination efforts therefore increased at a rapid pace in the Kabasaki district. At the moment, the area is still considered off limits. Mm -hmm. However, the air in Kabasaki is currently purified to such an extent that it has no negative effect on the human body. If the plan goes smoothly, land prices in Kabasaki are going to skyrocket. And all that land is owned by the KE. And by So himself. The land he bought back for one billion will be worth ten times that soon. Yeah. He's involved in some shady business. This is just another rumor, but the chemical plant exploding was no accident. It was done intentionally. What does this have to do I with so and the Kumakuras? You know? Ota. We'll get there. But I hope. There's no hard evidence of that. It's just gossip. Thank you. Uh, what were we talking about again? Ota Mama. And the Kumakuras. Oh right. You know how Matsushita Diner is close to the Kabasaki district? I didn't, but now I do. The chemical plant explosion made times hard. Uh, Foot traffic went down, sales declined. So if it no goes wonder up, it closed down. Doing better. Ota must hold a grudge. Someone caused that explosion. And if it was intentional, oh, he'd hate them even more. <sighs> That's how I link Ota to the Kumakuras. Would he know that, though? Also, I didn't know Matsushita was officially closed down. Yes. I didn't know that either. Have you seen Thank anybody you. in um, there? Yeah, I, I knew it wasn't doing well, but... I don't know if what you told me will lead to anything, but... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to waste your time. No, no, it was very helpful. I'm glad I can help, even if it's just a little. Well then, be seeing you. Come back anytime. Okay. Uh, I, I did a little digging. Mm -hmm. What I'm thinking is the cliffhanger isn't for a little while, but there's a better cliffhanger if we go to the next place and then stop. 
So this is the very last thing we'll do, and it's not very long. It's Almost. like setting up for a, a good thing that will happen, a cool thing that will happen next time. All right. Then let's do it. I don't think we have much art anyway, so it's okay. I return to boss's office to report. Everyone is sad. <laughs> but I didn't see her anywhere. Where did she go? Well, she isn't always here, correct? True. I sat down in my usual seat and decided to wait for boss. What are you doing? I thought it would be easier to talk like this. What do we have to talk about? A summary of the investigation, perhaps? You're right, I summary. Have a summarize. We don't have anything new. <laughs> That's not true. Huh? I was curious, so I did some research. About number 89. Oh, that's actually very helpful. Thank you. Hey, Mario. As you know, he is an assassin with multiple confirmed kills. He is currently serving a sentence at Fuchu Prison. He was imprisoned six years ago. That's what Pewter told us. After his fourth murder, he was arrested by the police. See, I did say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 89's real name is Kaname Date. Unknown. Uh, Damn it. You don't know? Bullshit. No such person is listed in the family registry. Fuck off. You have to know this person's name. His nationality is unknown. <sighs> However, I believe it is safe to say that he was born and raised in Japan. Come on. Unknown. I cannot determine. I did some research, connection. but I didn't learn anything. Yeah, I was gonna say, you didn't really help much. Hitomi Sagan witnessed Shoko in Fuchu Prison's waiting room. I am unable to say for certain that the person she was there to visit was number 89. After all, Fuchu Prison houses 2,000 inmates. Well, they should have a visitor Ooh. log, so ask them. Yeah. But number 89 knew Shoko's name. I know who killed Shoko. That must mean that he knew her somehow. It is possible. Pewter claims that there were two culprits behind the original serial killings. One was the former chairman of the Kumakuras, Rohan Kumakura. But Rohan committed suicide last year. But he didn't. That leaves one culprit still alive, number 89. But no, Rohan did commit suicide. Possibly have committed these crimes. Yeah, well, I thought it was like phrased under like he fell off this building, but like, did he do it or? Oh, uh, I can't remember if. Uh, all we know is that he was in. Uh, or yeah, he 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 fell off a building. Yeah, but yeah, I guess theoretically we don't know. He was in jail when he. It could have been foul play. Uh -huh. But we've been told that it was suicide. Correct. Mm -hmm. However, I do not believe it is accurate to claim that he had nothing to do with the incident. I know who killed Shogun Adami. <laughs> How many times are we going to hear that? The <laughs> truth, his involvement is possible. Let's talk to number 89. I don't know if he's telling the truth or if he's full of it. But he's our last Full of hot dogs. All right. However, we need not go to him. We can bring him to us. No, let's go to him. Yeah, let's definitely what? not do that. And let's let's not, not let Pewter him, in the room too. Efficient. What? Okay. So well, Ren Renju Renju's dead in this timeline, so yeah, Peter's, so Peter Peter's, Peter's, Peter's a G. Yeah, Peter's a bro. Can you arrange sure. that? Sure. I can. That seems wild. After cutting through some red tape. Number 89 was to be brought to HQ. He took considerable time to arrive. For some reason, Boss never showed up. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sus. Bruh. 
Oh, Pewter's in the room again. Son of a bitch. Pewter, get out of the room. Oh, God. Pewter, get out of here. You son of a bitch. Pewter, you leave. Get out of here. Leave. Leave, Pewter. <laughs> Uh, slow aim, yes, there is, and I did not remember it. Sorry to interrupt your busy day. Alright, that's a stopping point. Uh, yeah, we can either stop here or do his little investigation, but either way, we're gonna start think... off next stream with a, with a sink. I actually think this is a better stopping point, because then yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll have this to, like, refresh our memory before we go into the sink. Yeah. Uh, Sounds good. you with that. Yeah. Orphans. Delirium. Kawasaki District. I got dopamine. Sophie, you're 10 bits saying, so does that owe us all a pizza? Uh, no, it's a plot twist that nothing's been revealed. Till later. Nothing's been proven yet. All right, so we end here. Yeah, yep. I saw I saw several people in the chat saying like this when they play the game, this was their very first route, which is like crazy to think by contrast yeah. to what we experienced. Yeah. But like, of course, like yeah, you just make two different decisions and boom, you're here. Right? Yeah, it's not like two yeah. decisions. But yeah. We still we have not gotten to my first route yet. Hmm. Which means we were down here then. Yeah, my first route was down there, and some more stuff happens. Hmm. Honestly, I when we get to my route, I'm you guys are gonna be like, God damn it, that sucks that that was your first one. Oh. And you'd you'd be right. You'd the be West right. route. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, that's gonna do it for another episode of uh, I the Somnium Files with an actual lawyer. Uh, again, if you like this, watch us on uh, twitch.tv slash save data team. We're live at least four days a week, sometimes five. Uh, you can watch us do this and other goofy things. Uh, also, in alternating Mondays with this now, we're, we're playing Pokemon. We're doing another Nuzlocke. Uh, be excited for that. Lots of lots of Pokemon names have been redeemed, which is very good. Uh, and uh, follow us on Patreon as well, or support us on Patreon. Uh, we really appreciate that, especially since a lot of our content's getting demonetized on YouTube. I wonder if this video will not... Here's the thing. I'm betting this video will not get demonetized, and then I will be a billion times confused how the hell Ace Attorney is being demonetized when what happened in this episode is a billion times worse. But whatever. Uh, Ace Attorney has a racist guy. That's true. That's true. But until next time, get ready for some art because I sink into your brain. <laughs> Buh bye bye uh, Starting off art for this week, James with the string cheese. Thank you so much. This is so good. Uh, James indicating that he bites the string cheese. Uh. <laughs> I just got to it. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, listen. I will kill you. I'm here. I'm I'm here for efficiency. Come on. Damn, we got so many we got so many good memes. Yeah, ones thank you so much for this, Taputis man. Please do more bits like this on stream. I love it. Is it too late to remove the hot dogs? So you can make it float yourself. Oh wow, you got the exact same hot dog PNG I have. Also, Buck Wild, I just noticed this. Who the fuck puts sesame seeds on a hot dog? Yeah, dog? that actually is really fucked up. You're not wrong. Uh, King Kieran, I heard we're having a divine dragon over. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking divine nice. Divine dragon. Alir, Alir, Iba crossover. Uh, I appreciate the plus Aliba. and minus. Aliba. Yeah. I mean, this looks better than both uh, their character designs. So there we go. Hey, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> also, is it too soon to be making jokes about this? <laughs> yeah, it's the. Uh, the, the saw coming down on the hot dog. Incredible. <laughs> Chrono Wizard wasn't able to complete it per se, but here's Mizuki in her Phantom Thief outfit. Takes a bit of inspiration from the outfits of people she cares about while having that rebellious schoolgirl look underneath. I'll be sure to have her Arcana codename and persona ready some other time. 
Yeah. yeah. Mizzig would be a top tier phantom fade. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's so good. She fit in. She fit right in with the gang. Oh. Uh, and Chrono's here. And this is a quick one. Yeah. <laughs> a little eyeball. That's hot dog. adorable. <laughs> I love that. That's cute. The face That's is like. That's so oh, cute. Dante, please that, do not eat. It's like, me. do not That's eat me. Put me That's into your eye hole, dog. not your mouth hole. That's the best time for a hot dog, Iba. 